Hello again guys, another quick video here. I just saw on YouTube a video that said something about judging angels, and then I thought, <clears throat> I thought about this first again, and um, I was like, and I want to look into that, because that probably doesn't mean, you know, what I originally thought either. And I remember talking to a brother about this, talking about how we'll judge angels. And um, so I think the most popular view is that somehow we're going to like, judging, you know, with Christ, like specific angels, you know, that that fell with Satan, that followed Satan or Satan took with them. And, you know, we're gonna like assign like specific punishments to these specific angels or whatever, you know, like, uh, you're gonna serve this punishment in hell and you're gonna serve this punishment in hell. And you know, I don't even know if there are different levels of punishment in hell. I know that's a doctrine that's taught and maybe I've mentioned that before that I believed it or not, but that's kind of another topic, but, you know, I do, I, I have taught that there are no different um, levels of reward in heaven, and I really kind of think that there's not different levels of punishment in hell either. I think hell's all the same, and, uh, but that's something else to look into. Well, like I said, most people will look at this, we shall judge angels, they'll think it's some specific end time event where all the saints are together with Christ and like the fallen angels are like coming forward like one by one and we're giving them like specific judgments or whatever, but that's not what the verse is saying. And so again, I look at Ellicott's commentary and right off the bat, you know, I see a better explanation than that. And he says, many conjectures have been made as to the exact significance of the word angels here. Some suggest that it must signify bad angels, but this would be an unusual use of the word without any qualifying adjective. It is better, uh, so saying, so it's saying that it doesn't make sense that it's just bad angels. We might think that because it's saying that we'll judge them, but it doesn't say bad angels or anything like that. It doesn't say, you know evil spirits or or whatever it's just angels in general is what he's saying he's pointing out and then he's saying it's better perhaps to regard this passage as a climax rising out of the apostles intense realization of the unity of christ and his church triumphant a point which seems ever present to the mind of saint paul when he speaks of the dignity of christianity in this sense redeemed humanity will be superior to and judges of the spiritual world that the words have some such large significance and are not the expression of a hard and literal fact regarding some members of the angelic host is i think borne out by the subsequent words that are where the contrast to angels is not men but things relating to this life and i thought that was a good commentary so what i did was i copied and pasted it over here into my expository studies First Corinthians chapter six, okay, which I'm I'm going to be slowly adding on all these expositories, and and I might put up my own words or add more, or take out some or whatever. But uh, right here's verse six, and then see verse four or verse three, and then verse four. Down here it says, "If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church." So. It's comparing, like, earthly things to heavenly things, and it's saying, you know, we're going to be one with Christ, you know, or we are, we are one with Christ, but, you know, even more so when we're with him, and in that, you know, we're, we're, we're just going to, we're going to be judge of all, like, like he is, basically. It's not talking about us, you know, assigning specific punishments to specific fallen angels or whatever. That's like a hard, literal interpretation, like what he said. So this is more of a general um, thing, again. And this makes much more sense to me. So I just thought I'd share that. Maybe that's something that we should get straightened out. And uh, also, there's... I've changed the form a little bit, still working on different things. I like this look better now. It's, it's a little better than what it was. I took off the banner and stuff at the top. Like, I had like an advertisement type thing that changed. It's gone. And, um, anyways, there's a thing here. If you hover over the forum home, or maybe I'll just click on it, and it will drop down a menu. 
There we go. Okay, then you can go to forms, general, whatever here, and you can get to things faster. So that's kind of a nice feature. There's an announcement thing I can have up here. Right now I have a link to the main page. I'm accept you be converted. And then Matthew 5, 6, which is kind of the verse for the form. Brother uh, kind of came up with that. Matthew 5, 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And down here at the bottom of the main page, here's all the tags. And this is like a tag cloud. So whatever, you know, has the most tags right now and stuff is popular. So I'm still working on a lot of things. But word of faith, because there's a lot of those false teachers that I've marked on here. But I'm still adding a lot more. But uh, the parables, Ezekiel parables. So, lots of different things there. But yeah, you could just go to Forum Home, Forums, General, Bible Study, Study by Book. And then, these are all the New Testament books. And I'm slowly going to be working on them. So, that was 1 Corinthians 6, Chapter 3 where it talks about judging angels. And so the idea is that we're going to be, you know, with Christ, we're one with Christ, and we're going to have, like, the same authority and um, over, over all things, you know, heavenly. So that's that. God bless.